I actually ended up overheating and I had to step out of the venue to like maybe throw up. Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at outfits that I am too afraid to wear on stage. In part one, we'll explore some outfits that I've already worn on stage. And then in part two, we're going to see what I'm too afraid to wear because I have this weird complex where I'm like, okay, I'd rather look average and not sound amazing than look amazing and sound not that great. I don't know why. I just like when things match. I hope that one day that will escape my body and I can wear these outfits. So here we go. Part one, the history of my outfits. So this picture is our very first time ever performing at a show and I was super nervous. We were opening for our dear friend, Sean Sissons of My Hill. You should check out his music. I sing on one of them. Brendan actually picked out these outfits and his idea of it was that we want to look unified and matchy and professional. And I'm like, okay, yeah, but it's also like, that's how I go to work. So this next show was at a bar and we love performing here. I originally had a sweatshirt underneath the pleather vest. So the pleather vest in and of itself was a pleather jacket from Winners that I got years ago that I didn't want to throw out. So I cut the sleeves off because I wanted to fulfill my 80s hot girl summer. And that day was in August and I was very hot and you know, with nerves and everything, I actually ended up overheating and I had to step out of the venue to like maybe throw up. So that was fun. So stupid, so stupid. Yeah, like my, my frame of thinking was that there's so many times that I go into a venue and I'm freezing because I wear it like a skimpy little dress, you know what I mean? And so I went the complete opposite and just bundled up for August. So this one is at a local cafe and I'm wearing a long black witchy skirt that I'm obsessed with and then a long sleeve shirt underneath as well. And that was it. But then as you can see, there was a vent right there. So I ended up being cold. So I put on my jacket, but it ended up being a look. So it's fine. I could have, I definitely could have asked for them to turn it down or whatever, but I didn't want to be that like, I'm the talent and I'm freezing. <laughs> So I put my jacket on and I sang songs and I called it a day. This one's a good one. The good old polka dot dress. I got that at a store called All Dolled Up. Pretty sure they're closed now. Brennan and I picked that one out together and I came out of the dressing room and he was just like, <laughs> Do you like it, baby? Okay, cool. This was a show we did nude for a life and death drawing event hosted by our good friend, Kim Valentine. Our body is brought to you by our parents and their parents and their parents' parents and their parents' parents. Originally, so we were in our silk robes and the plan was to basically like look at each other and then take our robes off at the same time, but that didn't end up happening because we were so nervous. <laughs> Part two, outfits I'm too afraid to wear on stage. Before I begin, before I begin. I didn't like go out and buy all of these things all at once. Like these are outfits that I've accumulated over the years. I wore this dress a couple of years ago for a Halloween party where everyone was like, okay, wait, like what are you? And I'm like, I'm a witch, duh. I had a cauldron, but I didn't have the hat. Not all heroes wear capes and not all witches wear hats. I think it's so just majestic and sexual. <laughs> majestic and sexual uh, is the name of our next album, so. 80s prom, but make it stunning. I love that it's off the shoulder with poofy sleeves and all that ruching is just disgusting. 
a sting and I love it. Bought it a couple of years ago, haven't worn it. Maybe I'll wear it on stage. If anyone were to ask me what my favorite time period style is, I would have to say the 1980s because it just was so bad, but it was so good because it was so bad. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm Peppa and I need my salts or my George, depending on if you know what I'm talking about. It's flexible, it's fun, and it's very like, you know, whatever. Sometimes I just wanna look like I didn't try, but secretly I tried hard. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man, no time to talk. Music loud, the women walk, I've been kicked around since I was born. Now it's all right, that's okay. You may look the other way. You can't try to understand. Do your time and be papa. Whether you're a brother or whether you're a mother, you're staying alive, staying alive. Okay. The shirt says, yes, I'm funny. And the boot, the booty? Okay, the booty says, I didn't, I didn't rehearse the script <laughs> before, beforehand, one more time. And the booty says, I'm too hot to even handle. I can only wear these flare jeans specifically with these heels. The only pair of heels that I own, by the way, because why would I own 10 different types of uncomfortable shoes? That just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know what this video was, but it was really fun to make. And if you watched until the end, thank you so much. Just do you, just like do the things that you wanna do. Done. Stay high, San Diego.